What up, guys? I'm going to be doing a review on the Legends of Zelda Orcarina of Time. Yeah, I don't have that much gameplay because I already beat the game. And my brother has the other file, and my other brother has the other file. So I can only do this gameplay. Either way, good game. You get all the weapons that you would get in the future games. Except for three individual things. You have Din's Fire, Fora's Wind, and Nyra's Love. Those are the three unique things in this game. And the Megaton Hammer. The Ice Arrow is optional. You don't really need it. The bottles are also optional. I would advise getting the big Guron sword. Not the big knife, the big Guron sword. Maybe two handed, but you can still block with it. Either way, good game. To us, bad graphics, but back then, these were like some of the best graphics ever. Because it's not side scrolling. Yeah. Anything you would expect from a Zelda game, the final boss is Ganondorf. And you save Princess Zelda. Except one thing, Zelda turns into Sheik. And at first you don't know that it's Sheik. If you never played Super Smash Bros, you would not know that it's Zelda. That's actually Sheik. Right now I'm climbing the stairs. I really hate this place. This is like the easiest tower ever. Uh, you have to collect these medals to unlock the sages from their sleep. You start off as a kid, and you could keep switching back from a kid to an adult by putting the master sword back, back in, back into its pedestal. And you fight Ganondorf that captured Princess Zelda. He's playing on this piano, and he wants the Triforce. He wants both pieces of the Triforce that you two have. And Navi, as useless as he is, he says he can't help us. Because of the waves of darkness. Even though all he does is give us information. By yelling, hey, hello, what's... Listen, look out. Yeah, basically, you just need to get into this corner and reflect his light energy balls. If you played Wii Tennis, you would know how to do this. And then, once it shocks him, come on, Ganondorf, then hit him with a light arrow. And then run as fast as you can to slit his throat! And look at what Navi has to say. I have no idea what his weakness is. And once he gets up, that's about your time to run. Yes, yeah, sorry, but I'm looking into the camera because all this stuff is blocking my view. So... Might be a little hard to... So, my gameplay might be a little off. In a second part of this, I'm going to show you Ganondorf's second part of once you beat him after this. Well, I'm going to show you the second part, probably today or tomorrow.